So it's time for the Christmas budget wrap up. You know, that moment where I tell you how awesome we did on our budget and how we were thousands of dollars under budget, under what we planned. <laughs> yeah, no. It's more like when I confess how much I spent and how redonkulously over budget we actually were. Because we were. In the entire history of our marriage, Mauricio and I have never, ever, not even once, been under budget for a Christmas budget ever, period. But last year was the first year we had a Christmas sinking fund and it was a game changer for us. I mean, seriously huge game changer. Come January, we are not gonna feel any pain whatsoever from Christmas. So the slight amount that we were actually over this year is really minimal considering everything in our history. I mean, this is a whole growing process, I know, and we're growing. And before we get into it, our Christmases are extravagant. I mean, seriously extravagant. We are aware of that and we are okay with that. So let's see how we did on our Christmas budget this year. Oh, this is gonna be good. Hey, I'm Wendy Valencia, my husband Mauricio, my daughter Melina and I, we are givers. I mean, solid givers. We love giving. It's like a hobby to us, not even joking. It's just one of those things that just, it fills us up and keeps us happy. And so we continue to do it over and over and over again because we believe that giving is what makes people have faith in the human race. So when it comes to a holiday season where giving is the primary focus, we have a lot of trouble sticking to a budget because we come up with like the perfect gift for someone and then we realize that it's out of our price range. And then we scrap it and move on with our lives. So as I mentioned in the past, we had never had sinking funds for Christmas and this year we did and it is a game changer. We had them last year, but they were m much smaller and we decided last year that we were gonna go ahead and up them. And what we did is rather than we saved $100 a month, which left us $1,200. But I also used Capital One 360 referrals to supplement my Christmas budget. So that was another $1,000. And then we had some money left over last year from something else. So we put that in. So our initial starting budget was $3,085. I know you sucked in your breath a little at that number, but this is what Mauricio and I have agreed on for Christmas. And we have a lot of people to give for and we're okay with it. So now I'm gonna go over line by line what we spent and I'm gonna divvy it up by November and December so you can see some of this stuff I can't get in November. I have to wait until December to spend it. So it is divvied up across two months, but I do try and get all my Christmas presents in early November. So there are the best sales in early November. It is not Black Friday. Do not be fooled by Black Friday because I'm not kidding you, the first weekend in November is almost always the lowest price of the year for anything. Well, not anything, like winter clothes, no. So if you wanna know what we bought with each one of these amounts, then stick around till tomorrow and make sure you hit that alert notification and that way you will be alerted when that video goes live tomorrow because I will go over exactly what we gave everyone. I will not be getting going over what Mauricio and Melina gave me because I don't know what that is. This is right before Christmas when I am filming this. So I have not received it yet. It's under the tree though. It's lovely. It's very pretty, but I don't know what it is, but I can tell you how much it cost. So let's go ahead and jump in. In November, we spent 546.66 on gifts for Melina. I bought Mauricio's Christmas present from Melina and I for $475.94. Mauricio spent $600 on a gift for me. And the reason it is an exact number is because he went to the bank and took out cash to get it because he knew I would see the bank statement and I'm the nerd in the family. So yeah, he didn't want me to see that, but I okayed the amount that he spent. Then we spent $145.11 on Wenka's Christmas gift, and Wenka is my mother. We spent $96.97 on my nephew, my oldest nephew's 
Christmas present. We spent $54.05 on my younger nephew's Christmas present and we get him something else so they're more even price-wise in December. We spent $99.05 on a Christmas dress and it says Christmas dress and shoes, but we didn't actually get shoes then. That was the Christmas dress and then the jacket for that dress. Then I spent $37.08 for pictures with Santa. I registered for those very, very early, like in October. And so I was able to get them at a deep discount, which is lovely. And then I spent $24 for tickets for the National Cathedral on Christmas Eve for Mauricio and I to go. And we got two extra in case we have someone who wants to go with us. We have the tickets already in hand because it does sell out pretty quickly. And then like last year, we had one ticket left over. So we just, there's always somebody collecting tickets at the door that they hand them out to people in line. And so we just gave those back because it's a church. I'm okay with giving extra money to a church, especially when their Christmas Eve service is as beautiful as theirs. And in December, we spend this. We sent Abuelo and Abuela Mauricio's parents $200, and that will be wired down on Christmas Day, so that's why it hasn't been processed through. We also wired down $100 for our brand new niece's gift. She is but a couple of months old, and so we're gonna wire that money and then let Mauricio's sister and her husband and decide how they want to spend it on her or buying diapers or whatever because she's an infant she doesn't know when she gets a little older we'll send like present presents but it's kind of hard to get presents down there so for now we just spend money spend money yeah, we do spend money, but we also send money. And then the weekend before Christmas, we went to the Winter Walk of Lights and that has not cleared our bank yet, but that was $60. And then I got tickets with a Groupon for One Loud and Light Show for $79.99. And oh my gosh, that was awesome. We spent another $173.75 for Melina's Christmas presents. We spent $201.39 on Wiki's Christmas present, and Wiki is my father. We spent another $48.98 on my second youngest nephew's present. We spent $75.07 on gifts from Sprinkles, and Sprinkles is our Christmas elf. And every year, Sprinkles brings the advent calendar and gifts, and Melina can hear me. Crap. Hopefully she's not listening. And then we spent $41 on Ain't No Way Christmas Hair. So I ended up being in Brussels while Melina was having her Christmas pictures and there was no way I was going to let Mauricio do her hair at, for Christmas pictures with Santa. No way. So I did call and make an appointment at Dry Bar to get her hair styled right before Christmas pictures and oh, she looked adorable. Then we gave Melina's teacher a $50 gift card, her Spanish teacher a $50 gift card, and then we have six $25 gift cards for the people at SAC. We gave Mauricio's close friend this custom-made ugly Christmas sweater, but oh my gosh, it was hilarious. It looks awesome. I have never been prouder. And I'll put a link to that site down in the description box because I mean, everybody should have a custom ugly Christmas sweater. I just uploaded the image I wanted knitted into the sweater and then designed the image around it. The downside was you could only use a certain number of colors and I wanted to use more colors. And so there was editing involved, but it worked out in the end and it turned out awesome. And then Mauricio did fall for the upsell at Santa Pictures. So that was an additional 1059, but I gotta admit, I fall for it every single time too because when we finally get it, I want to get all the pictures. And then we got Melina's Christmas shoes for $21.99. And last but not least, we paid $150 in donation to my parents' church every year. They do a wrapping presents and you take all of your presents and drop them off and they wrap them and then you come and pick them up and then you don't have to do anything and so it's like a fundraiser charity thing and and since I had so many we went ahead and we donated $150 to that totally worth every cent not to have to wrap Christmas presents because last night I had to wrap like six more and it took me two and a half hours to wrap them not even exaggerating 
If I had to wrap all the presents that were under the tree, I'd be wrapping for like three days straight. So let's get into the nitty gritty total. In November, we spent $2,078.86. And in December, we spent $1,488.48 for a grand total of $3,567.34. That means we were $482.34 over budget, which is really stinking impressive for us considering all of the money we spent. So in the end, we didn't do bad at all. I'm actually kind of proud of us. So we need to deal with our Christmas budget for 2019 right now, because right now I only am putting away $100 every month and this is closer to the budget I want to have. So I need to up the amount we're saving for sure. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya, we're out.